Hey friends, Leon from Colorado here. Today we're going to talk about keywording in Bridge. This is a follow-up video to the tutorial we did on file naming just a few weeks ago for our friends over at tiffinbox.org, a wonderful place for photographers. I hope you enjoy. In the file naming video, I suggested that keywording is a much more elegant solution to cryptic file names that run on and on till the break of dawn. Yes, we want the power and convenience to find the files that we need at any given moment, but in practice, using the file name for too many identifiers can become a mess. So here's a way around it. First, a bit about keywording. Think of it in terms of tagging your files. It's kind of like tagging your friends on Facebook. The purpose is to easily filter images by given tags instead of visually searching through an endless ocean of photos. In your professional photo library, you will probably want to do the same. Tag your client names, but you can go well beyond that. Tag the venue, vendors, or anything else that might help in searching for your files. Now here's how it works. Keywording can be done to a single image or in bulk. I'd suggest a funnel technique where you use broad terms like the client name for all images and gradually get more narrow and specific if you like. Here in Bridge, let's take a look at how this is done. First, you'll want to locate your keywords panel. If you don't see it in your workspace, just go to the window menu and choose keywords. Now we can see some of the preloaded keywords and add our own. Going along with our funnel technique of applying keywords to all images and then selecting smaller sections, let's first add the bride and groom's names, location, and venue. Select all images and click the plus button at the bottom of the keyword panel. Type your keyword and click the checkbox to apply. Now we can add other keywords to sort out the categories of the event. Here is getting ready, groups, ceremony, portraits, and reception. For future weddings, all you need to do is select the images and click the checkbox to apply or remove a keyword. You can get as specific as you like. As mentioned, you may even choose to add vendors. In our case, let's pretend this cake was made by Bonnie's Bakery. Several months go by and Bonnie contacts you to see if you have any images she can use. The great thing about keywording is that you can simply search your entire hard drive and Bridge will find any image that has Bonnie in the metadata. As you can see in this example, here are two different weddings we've tagged with Bonnie's work. Here's a bonus tip. To keep things organized in your keyword panel, create a new keyword that will become a new group. I'll use wedding, for example. Now we can take the common wedding categories, drag them on top of the wedding keyword, and now you have a nice organized group. Hey, I hope this gives you some great ideas of what's possible with keywording and how you can use it as a powerful tool to keep yourself organized. As always, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments or give us a shout on Twitter.